Hi everybody, my name is Jim with Fullman Adventure Club and today we're just doing a fun video. Um, I wanted to share with you guys how I set up my water pump room that runs all the water in my house completely off solar. Um, and in, it, it's been working flawlessly for about four months, no problems, no shutoffs, and it runs two water pumps in there. They're both shallow well jet pumps. One goes to a buried underground uh, water collection cistern that's from rainwater, and that flushes our toilet. So it just saves us a lot of water, um, and I don't have to run it through a bunch of filters and stuff like that. The other one goes to our main tank up top that I haul water to all the time, and that supplies water to the entire house. Uh, you know, the the sinks and the shower and the drinking water and the fridge ice maker and all that stuff and it has a lot of filters but it's also hauled city water so no big deal there but it does run two uh, shallow well jet pumps off this solar system so it's very cool and it's been working really well and i just thought i'd show you guys how i did that in case anybody's curious so let's get right into it so this is a 240 watt folding solar panel by labrids i just mounted it permanently to the roof and ran the wires down to the pump room Okay, so we have our water pumps over there. You know, the one, one flushes the toilet off the cistern water, and then this one is the main pump for the entire house with the pressure tanks, etc. And then as we come over here, we have this 3000 watt inverter, and I have a review video on that as well. Put a card up there. And it's powered by these two Lion Energy 12 volt lithium iron phosphate batteries. You can see they have the little wake up buttons there, which I love with the power meters. And that is going to this charge controller up to the solar panel. It's 240 watts on the roof. We're bringing in 11.4 amps. And that is sustainable. It'll run forever. Um, even without sun, it'll last about two days with no sun. And uh, let's go ahead and flip her on. It's currently running this guy right here. And you can see we're pressuring up. So it works pretty well. And uh, it can run both at the same time uh, because it's a 3000 watt inverter. And uh, they only really take about, you can see here, about 720 watts. Um, with about double that at the start. There you go. Well, there you go, guys. It's been working really well for about four months. Um, now, now that I, that was kind of a proof of concept test build that I did in there. And so now that I know it's been working for four months, I'm probably gonna redo all the wiring in there because I kind of just threw it together. And then also one of these years, probably redo all that spider web nest of plumbing that came with the house, but not this winter, because if it's not broken, I'm not gonna try and mess with that. But um, I just wanted to let you guys know this has been working well for me. So hopefully that points you in the right direction if you're doing a similar build. Again, this was a 240 watt solar panel that goes to a 10 amp solar charge controller, then goes into two 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate batteries from Line Energy, then up to a 3000 watt inverter to run both pumps. And this will last for about three days, probably four um, without sun based off that battery capacity. And the reason that I chose a 3000 watt inverter is because each one of those water pumps has a 1500 watt startup surge of power. And then they run at about 750 watts for a few minutes until the pressure tank gets full of water um, to the right pressure. And since there are two of them down there, if somebody flushes the toilet and the other pump decides to kick on at the exact same time, that 1500 and 1500 water start, uh, a watt starting capacity would be 3000 watts. So that's why I chose such a large inverter, but it works really, really well for me. And that way it never gets overwhelmed. And we haven't had a single problem with it, even when both pumps do kick on. So pretty cool setup. I've really been enjoying it and it has been saving us on our electric bill and everything else, putting some of these spare parts I have around the house to good use. So I hope that helps you out with your project and points you in the right direction. If the, any of those items that you saw in the video, you're interested in checking out in more depth, I will put affiliate links or normal links in the description below that'll take you over to their websites and that helps out my channel as well definitely hit the like share subscribe button that keeps the videos coming and i think that about wraps it up i hope it, i hope it was helpful for you guys and my name is jim with fullman adventure club and until the next video thank you so much for watching guys happy camping